Up first at 11, two teenage girls are at the center of what law enforcement calls one of the worst cases of abuse they've ever seen. Tonight, police said these girls had targeted a mentally challenged teenage boy. Hmm. Detectives in St. Mary's County say the suspects attacked that teen with a knife, sexually assaulted him, and forced him into an icy lake. Jay Korf has the latest. St. Mary's County authorities allege that 17-year-old Lauren Bush and a 15-year-old unnamed female, both students at Choptecon High School, videotaped multiple assaults that they unleashed on a 16-year-old boy with autism. But this is where you have juveniles involved. Sheriff Tim Cameron says the allegations leveled against these girls are among the most disturbing he has dealt with in his career. These allegations are, are heinous allegations. Cameron says several times between December and February, the suspects preyed on the victim, assaulting him with a knife, kicking him in the groin, dragging him by the hair, coercing him to engage in a sex act too disturbing to broadcast, and forcing him to walk on a partially frozen pond. Another video depicts the male on a, a icy pond being told to continue to walk out further, actually falling in the water several times and pulling himself out. Bush, who lives in a rural part of the county south of Mechanicsville and the other suspect, knew the victim well, say investigators. Police say the girls have admitted to videotaping the incidents, but investigators say they are still trying to figure out why. Who could harbor this ill will? to do something so completely heinous. I, I don't know. It's hard to fathom, really. That was Jay Korf reporting. The 15-year-old suspect will be charged as a juvenile. Lauren Bush has now been charged as an adult with a number of serious charges, including assault, soliciting child pornography, and false imprisonment. Authorities say more charges could follow.